I've had three chairmans. I've had four um, different sets of board ownerships and percentages along that journey, training ground. I've had so many things that have, have gone on, winding up orders. And I think it was almost the way they conducted themselves towards the end. And I know the gap would disagree a little bit here, but they were, they were good. We were constantly in conversation. It almost got to the point where maybe I just ran that race too much. I, I'm quite loyal. And this is one of the things among the phone calls I've had of him. Look, look, I am, um, whether it be at MK or Charlton or Oxford, I've had so many opportunities Good. to leave for big jobs, bigger jobs, much bigger jobs at times. And I, I am one of them people where I'd rather run it to its, its course and then mm-hmm. leaving and going to the channel yourself again. That's just the way I am as a person. Whether when I left Sam and to Paul, I've always tried to do things quite straight laced and never looked to manoeuvre my way out of there. Um, and I think sometimes that has had a definite effect on why I've stayed at that level for a long, long period of time. But equally, I'm quite comfortable with who I am and the decisions that I've made. Equally now, I have to change a little bit on my next direction, on my next job. And I have to be a little bit more selfish, maybe. Mm-hmm. Like, I'm desperate to go abroad. To, to manage abroad? Yeah, yeah. Why? Because I do feel people get away with things managing abroad. I think you can go abroad and do okay in the second or Serie B or whatever it may be in Belgium or in the mm-hmm. Division 2 and you you almost could build your reputation by being on the continent you look at the guy at Brighton at the moment who's who's had four or five seconds in his career mm-hmm. and right now he's in every national oh, everybody's game. talking about him going somewhere else now being. yeah and then you look at like so Rafa Benitez Gaffer's mate um, yeah. He's <laughs> his best mate. Are you talking about him? So like he has mentioned I him on this podcast. I was there for the handshake. Or the non, the non handshake. Yeah. <laughs> you see all the ones like this on a, on a, in a dugout. <laughs> no, but you look at it. I think they had four or five opportunities over in Spain and it's a country yeah, and fell yeah. short with relegations. Mm-hmm. And I think when he got Tenerife, he promoted. He then goes to Valencia. Mm-hmm. I, I just think the opportunity to learn different culture um, when my life's changed a little bit away from football. Um, my daughter now 16, 17 next week. I've got different yeah. um, outlook on life. And I think going up on the continent and learning a different way of playing. Cause I don't sometimes understand the new methodologies anymore. I, I, I'm, I'm baffled by double pivots and reverse nines and green zones, red zones. And, False left backs. Yeah, and yeah. inverted this. <laughs> yeah, that's, just people, that's just people no, that I know, sitting but... down trying to make a name for themselves to invent <sighs> a new... A new saying on on what the game is all about. It gets picked up and everybody else yeah. falls in line and thinks they're quite clever about. I see. You know what I mean? It's it, you know it's quite annoying. Is an understatement to be honest with you. Like the basics and the simplicity of football. And you you what you're a Man City fan. You see Man City play. Yes, they rotate. Yes, they play foot. They pass forward, run forwards, hurt, yeah. win the ball back, yeah. and work together. That is as conclusive as you're going to get as a system. Liverpool at the best were what they call them, the the machine yeah. mental mentality yeah. machines yeah. like that, because they all worked in one unit fundamentally and all moved in the same direction. For some unknown reason, I go on all these coaching courses, um, emotional sweet spots. Now these psychology reports that you get, I seen, and I'm going to embarrass them a little bit. I seen some of Sam's ways of managing. I don't know whether you, you might disagree whether you can do it as much anymore. No. I don't know if you can. No. Um, like what? Well, for instance, if, if if you're going through a bad... I think sometimes being away from the environment in any walk of life, personally, professionally, whatever, and looking at it from an outside back in, but together, it gives you a chance to reflect, um, to review, to challenge each other, but challenge each other in that trustworthy environment. And sometimes that could be alcohol, it could be golf, it could be abroad, mm. Dubai, it could be anywhere you want it to be. Glen Eagles. Yeah. <laughs> Great place. <laughs> um, and you're seeing a different side to players. And I remember when he first came in to Blackburn and um, he said, San Carlo we went to. Yeah. We had the night out and we did mm. a few little team building exercises. But that... And the next day, we were told a few things. He knew who got on with who, who didn't get on with who, where the dynamics might have fell short. And and it was quite unique. And all of a sudden, you then built a team around the, the group that were together rather than the fractious ones who didn't want to actually be there. And, and being away from the environment mm-hmm. allowed them to learn that. And I don't think that's the case anymore. I think academies are over coaching. I think the 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 giving them iPads before games to learn what the player they're playing against. It's not changed. If you go into a game of football and I'm playing left back and he's playing right wing, if I stop you from 
crossing it or scoring and I take you that way more often than not, I've dominated you and that assists the team. But we don't talk about the simplicity and the basics of the game enough. We want to overcomplicate it and that's where we're getting this fractious nature with sometimes our coaches in the game. The best managers and the best coaches keep it simple. They revert back to basics when it goes wrong and they keep repeating over and over again. Every year they have a slight little tweak but other than that, and that's where I think it's changing. That's why I want to go abroad and just learn something and maybe get that little bit of a zest for that challenge again.